that give you a sense of just how dire the drought is, we want to share some before and after photos with you. First, this is what Half Dome looked like back in March of 2011. You see blanketed here with snow, an awful lot of snow all around. However, this is what Half Dome looked like this March. Barely any snow at all, just bare rock. These pictures, by the way, are from the Yosemite Conservancy. Now let's take a look at what's happening in Lake Oroville, our state's largest reservoir in the state water project. You see all this water, all this green. Look how close it is to the bridge there, the roadway. So remember this picture, and then we'll switch forward. This, by the way, is 2011. Now take a look at how dry Whoa. things are. I know this picture is from 2014. You see no water at all, and look how high that bridge is up. Remember, it was up to about here in water before. This picture taken by the California Department of Water Resources. Now, this is a map. It's from NOAA's Drought Monitor Project. And this dark red area, this blob right here about the size of my hand, maybe more, this is the driest part in our state. This was taken back in 2014. Now, just a year later, this is what that same map looks like now. Remember, it was just my hand earlier. Now it's at least twice that size. That dark red area, that marks exceptional drought. Now, we'd like to bring in our meteorologist, Mark Tamayo. And Mark, you have another picture to share that really tells the same story, doesn't it? That's right, Gossie. If you're a skier or snowboarder heading up to Lake Tahoe, you just, today's news is really new to you. You probably just saw the snowpack over the past few months, over the past few weeks dismal up there. And in fact, this picture snapped today. This was up at the Badger Pass in Yosemite Valley. This is a ski resort. You can see those are two lifts. There, there should be snow surrounding those lifts, but that is not the case. In fact, Badger Pass closed actually in uh, late January and they have not picked up any significant snowfall. So a ski resort should not look like this in uh, on April 1st. In fact, you can see basically bare. Now we're